Please be seated. You know, if you was to uh, if you used to go out on the street today or out on a mall or someplace and you ask ask people um, if they're going to heaven or hell, most of them would say, "Well, I hope I go to heaven." Hope isn't good enough. It's, uh, and I pray that's not your answer if someone does ask you that. Um, your eternal destiny is just too important not to know, not to know the truth and where you're going. Only a fool would be unprepared for the end of life. Um, you know, it's inevitable, death. And the, the, the most recent statistics in the world are um, the mortality rate is 100%. But you're not guaranteed another minute. You're not guaranteed another, another hour on this planet. We're just not guaranteed that. We don't know. In uh, 1 John, the Bible says, and this is the testimony, God has given us eternal life. And this life is in the Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. Now that's about as clear as you can get on some of that. Um, if you have Jesus, you have life. And if you don't, it's uncertain. And, but the, the good thing is we have a choice. We have a choice in this life. You won't go to heaven because of somebody else's faith. Somebody prays for you and everything. That's good. They're showing their faith. But that's not a guarantee you're going to heaven. You have to decide. You are the deciding factor. Um, it's just your, your, decide, your decision where you're going to spend eternity. That's why Christmas and Easter are so important to Christians. You know, if Jesus, had, if Jesus hadn't come at Christmas, and if he hadn't died on the cross at Easter, we would be hopeless. Our life would be hopeless. Nothing we do would matter. We wouldn't have that choice that we have. The cross is the answer to our deepest problem, our separation from God. The cross is the answer. God nailed everything to that, and God nailed everything that separated you from him to the cross. But God won't know, but God won't force you to make the most important decision of your life. It's up to you, and it's time to choose. Choose wisely. <clears throat> Let's commune together. Let's take these little wafers. represents Christ's body. Not real tasty, but it's not supposed to be. And the juice, which represents Christ's blood that he shed for us. Thank you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today and we, we want to make that choice, Lord. It's, it's all up to us, our own hearts. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you will guide us throughout the week, throughout our lives. We pray, Heavenly Father, for open hearts when uh, someone has problems. We pray for the, uh, the eyes to see, the wisdom to know what to say, what to do, to help others that need help. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the message today. We pray that we'll take it into our hearts and we will uh, live it. We will uh, we'll choose the right path when that crossroads comes to us. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for each and every person here today. And it is in your Son's precious name that we pray.